There is a drug epidemic happening here in America. Our fathers, mothers, sisters, brothers, nieces, and nephews are dying each and every day. Enough is enough. It's time to fight back. Welcome. You are now about to witness the beginnings of the underground church in America. Our government has been infiltrated with Luciferians, and our cities have been infiltrated with madness. They want our heads. They want our silence. This is our response in Christian resistance. We are a select few of Christian soldiers, and we need to know, are you down? And now, for the minister. Super soldier? Welcome back. <laughs> hey, I got a quick scenario, a couple scenarios for you, okay? Stay with me. <clears throat> Say somebody in the um, your community, um, a prominent member, you know, of uh, the community that everybody respects, looks up to. Um, maybe, maybe he's helped you out in the past, you know, and um, he has a real good name in the community, right? And um, in this scenario, okay, he gets uh, he gets kidnapped by some thugs. Okay, and um, after he gets kidnapped, um, they identify the thugs and their hideout. And so um, in the community, they start to form a posse, right? You with me? And um, they say, hey, you know what? This could be a mission that some people might not be coming back from. But, you know, <clears throat> he's such a good guy, you know, and like I said, he's probably helped you out a time or two in the times past right you know and so um you know some of some of us per adventure right would dare to die to save a prominent man from the community you know someone that's uh people looks up to you know and um you know stick our neck out for somebody like that right okay so Scenario number two, okay? Same scenario, somebody's got kidnapped, but instead of it being a prominent man that's uh, in the community, this guy's a dope shooter, okay? He's a dope head. And um, he's uh, always causing problems in the community, starting fights. Um, as a matter of fact, you, you suspect him of some stolen property, right? And... Um, he got took by the same thugs, right? Are you going to be as quick to join the posse to go help him? <clears throat> you know, because I'm a grandpa, right? <laughs> Here's my excuse. And I, I want to stay, uh, I want to be able to, to see my uh, grandkids, you know, grow up, you know, and get married and possibly have kids of their own, you know. That would be something for me to see in my lifetime. You know, and um, like I said, this thug, he was uh, causing uh, lots of problems. You know, a lot of people might say that, you know, he had it coming, right? So here we have two different scenarios, you know, with, uh, you know, maybe two different outcomes, you know, because I think I would try to join a posse to go get the, get the prominent member of uh, society out. You know, and I don't think I'd be able to join the posse to get the, the, the thug out. You know, I, I'm just telling you the truth, you know. But do you know that that's not the way it works with God? Right? That even though we were still sinners, Christ died for the ungodly. That even though we're acting crazy. You know, at the end when he was hanging on the cross, he said, you know what? But I'll do this. I'll do this, you know. And he did it for the ungodly, so we will have a chance, you know. The people in power, the Luciferians that run the country now, that are trying to split the country in half, they wouldn't have a chance, you know. If we saw people the way God saw people and saw the value in people, the way God sees the value in people, if we love one another, 
they wouldn't have a chance because we would be united in love if we loved one another this is the most dangerous message on the internet today thank you